What do we have here? It's Bugs Bunny, obviously. It's celebrating Bugs Bunny's 50th birthday. It was signed by Frizz Freeling, the animator, and Mel Blanc, the voice. Yeah, I don't really know too much about Bugs Bunny. Man, what do you mean? He did that movie with Michael Jordan. And he did Roger Rabbit. No, that was a different rabbit. You never cease to amaze me. Today I'm here at the pawn shop to sell my signed Bugs Bunny photo. I picked this up from a collector. I don't have any place to really put it up. I know there's not too many that are double signed like that. He's one of the iconic cartoon characters in history. He was always my favorite. I mean, I always kind of looked at Mickey Mouse like he was a wimp. And uh, he couldn't really get Bugs down. He had two different guys always trying to shoot him, people dropping stuff on him. I mean, he was like the first sarcastic cartoon comedian. He did have a little bit of an attitude. Bugs Bunny's been around since the 1940s, and he's been in over 160 cartoons. Not a bad career. You got it from a collector. Do you mind me asking what you paid for it? It was in the 250 area. I mean, it's framed really nicely. I mean, there's no nicks or cuts. It's in really good condition. If you don't mind, I mean, I'd like to have somebody come down and take a look at the signatures, and I can kind of go for a price from there. That's fine. I'm really hoping these signatures are legit. I mean, this piece would look great in the shop. Drew, what's going on, man? Hey, gentlemen, how are you? Bugs Bunny you talked about, right? Yeah. But whenever they have a situation where there's autographs, the guys give me a call because that's something expertise on. Bugs Bunny came out in 1940, officially. Now, Mel Blanc, he's known as the man of a thousand voices because he did almost all the voices for animation. Frizz Freeling, he was one of the top animators for Warner Brothers mm -hmm. and producer also. Well, these two gentlemen have very interesting signatures. Uh, but we got to take a closer look. OK. All right. Well, when you're examining signatures, you really have to look at all the different details, capitals and lowercase letters. We'll start with Mel Blanc. This was done with a, a black felt tip pen. Uh, it's a very distinguished way he makes his uh, capital M coming below the baseline. Then he flies into like an epsilon E type right. of design. Very interesting. Well, let's take a look at uh, Frizz Freeling, see what we have. He tends to write it in mostly capital letters. Well, one major thing that uh, we're always going to be looking for is he drops the L way below the baseline. OK. Well, you know what? You take all the evidence together, all the evidence is what I need to see. So this thing's authentic, absolutely. Good, sweet. All right. You got two gentlemen who didn't sign their autographs together a lot. And it's a nice combination all in one particular piece. Value-wise, with both these signatures on one piece, that raises it a little bit. It's not original art, uh, though it is, you know, nicely done and professionally uh, framed. Both together, probably retail around $500. Sweet. Good. Well, my man, I appreciate it as All always. Right. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. I'm glad I talked to an expert because I was really thinking the price would be a lot higher. All right, so you heard my man. He said $500 retail, and you paid around $250 for it. Right and I'm willing to let you out of your investment with no gain here. It's about what I'm willing to pay. It's gonna be 250. I'm thinking I might be able to get 350. If you can come up to 300, I think we could have a deal. Buddy, I'll go 275, but I, I really can't go any higher than that. If I can't make a really a fairly decent markup on it now, that maybe I'll just put it back in my collection and keep it. You know what, man? I'd rather make $50 than no dollars. So, deal. Okay, chum, you wanna go write him up? Yeah. Meet you over there. All right. <laughs>